YouTube, it's Mike from Asymmetrical Preparedness. Today's video is on budget preps, kind of a continuation of the series. Um, I know that, oh, okay, I don't know. I know that, you know, finances are a concern for all of us, and we all want to get the most out of our money. So here's some ideas, some uh, thought-provoking uh, information, hopefully, to get you guys' thought, creative juices flowing, and the thought, thought process is flowing and ideas for you guys to get some inexpensive preps. So, um, yeah, we want to make the most of our money. Um, we want to look for ways to save. Um, we want to uh, um, do things like that. So first off, start off with a list of your needs. Um, and try to figure out ways to get everything on your list. Sorry, a little slow <laughs> right now. Um, the best way, for food at least, is to grow your own, okay? That is the best way to save money because you are uh, producing your own. I mean, seeds are inexpensive. Um, watering them is inexpensive. Uh, you know, taking care of stuff like that. You, best bang for the buck is growing your own food. So I recommend and I encourage you guys to do that as much as possible. Plus, plus you need to be producing your own calories as much as possible. Because, you know, in a SHGF scenario, you're not going to go to the grocery store. So that's more of a sustainable, uh, longer-term goal. That's the best way to go about it. So, but uh, first off, don't get overwhelmed with your list. Don't, you know, don't have fear. Don't, like I always say, don't prep out of fear, prep out of peace of mind. As you go, the little things you get, the little things you do will make you better prepared. So, um, <clears throat> inexpensive food ideas. And I wrote some down, pocket brain, of course. Um, pasta is inexpensive. You can get inexpensive pasta sauce also. Um, and I'll do some videos showing you like what I got for five bucks or what I got for $10, different things like that. Um, but beans, rice, lentils, dried and canned uh, are all inexpensive, especially the dried. Big, huge bags are very inexpensive. Um, and lentils are really good prepper food. They're just uh, really good for you. All the nutrients in them, stuff like that, the protein content, all that stuff. They're really good. And lentils, they're a, I'm pretty sure they're a legume, not a bean. So legumes, beans, rices, um, um, sorry, grains, wheat, stuff like that, depending on where you are in the country, where you live, what the availability to get different kinds of things like that is. Um, it's hard for me to find wheat out here. I could order it online. But in the Pacific Northwest, it's just not grown here. Um, but one of the good things to do is buy or grow fresh fruits and vegetables and dehydrate them yourself. I did that video on dehydration, um, dehydrators. Um, and I didn't mention you can do it in your oven, but you can. You can do it in your oven. You can do it, people mention do it in the windows of your cars. Um, you know, put a tray in your back window or your front window, stuff like that. That's awesome. It's basically a solar oven. And that works. Yes, it does. So... Um, that was something I didn't think about on the video. Thanks for the comments, people, that mentioned that. That was awesome. Awesome input. I love that. Um, and it reminds me of a story. When I was a kid, I should have known that. So when I was a little kid, I don't even know how old it was, I had this Lego set. It was a Lego police station I had made. It had the flat sheet, and then the, the station was all built up by the vehicles and the men on it and stuff like that. I put it in the back window of my mom's car. Well, we were driving from Sacramento to Lake Tahoe, and it must have been summertime. <laughs> and you know... If you know that area of California, it gets hot. So we get to my, my aunt's house, and come to find out my Lego set was a um, melted Lego set. I was still finding bent, melted Lego pieces years later, of ones that I thought weren't bent that I tried to save and salvage. So that's just kind of a funny story for you. But if it will do that to Legos, it'll dehydrate your food. So that's a good way. De dehydrate your own. Create your own food preps. Um, instead of buying pre-made or pre-packaged, you know, canned, where other people are doing the work for you. Do it yourself to save some money. Um, yeah, canned veggies, canned fruit, canned meats, um, all those kind of things. Those are good to have. Canned goods are heavy, yes. Are they the best option? No. But they are an option and they're inexpensive. So it is a good option to have. You need a variety, not just dried stuff. You need canned stuff. And uh, with, one thing that's good about canned is you can just eat them right out of the can. You don't have to cook them. Um, a lot of them come with you know water in it, so you got water. Instead of 
dried beans or rice and stuff like that, taking a ton of water to make. Sorry, just have to deal with that right now. Um, it's getting darker earlier, so um, yeah, instead of taking a ton of water to make, it comes with water, so that makes it much easier, much faster. Um, potatoes, veggies, fruit, like I mentioned, and you can dehydrate those yourself also. Potatoes last quite a long time, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, whatever, but you can also slice them up really thin, dehydrate them, and throw them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in a Mylar bag, throw them in your your uh, um, buckets that I talked about, the free buckets you got from the bakery that I talked about you know, one of the other videos about um, inexpensive preps, and you're good to go. Sugar, honey, preserves, uh, meaning like jams, jellies, stuff like that, are all fairly inexpensive. You can get those good, uh, you know, inexpensive and in fair quantities. Salt and spices, also spices you can get cheap or you can spend a lot of money on spices. So look for the deals. Um, one thing is shop after holidays for candy. Candy is a really good morale item. And in an SHGF scenario, life is going to suck, Point, no matter how well prepared you are. So any kind of morale item you can have like that, like having a sweet a piece of candy to enjoy every once in a while, is a great idea. Shop after the holidays, like after Christmas for Christmas candy, after Halloween for Halloween candy. We're in October, Halloween's coming up, so you guys got an opportunity right there. Uh, shop the sales, because they'll put all the Halloween candy, candy on massive discount because it's after the holiday. Um, and who cares? You know, same with any holiday that's associated with candy. Valentine's Day, same thing. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> also couponing. Couponing is a way to save money. Um, shopping sales at your at your local store, stuff like that. Um, one thing I'm, I forgot to mention on my yard sale thrift store video was estate sales. That's another good one. Um, shop. You know, see we go see where you can find estate sales. They're usually advertised in newspapers and stuff like that. Um, newspapers are the old paper things that have these little words printed on them that people used to read, remember? <laughs> you can look up online too, I'm sure. But uh, um, for ammunition, <clears throat> some of the best sources I've found are GunBot. I think it's GunBot.org. And what you do is you can select, um, organize like price per round and then availability. You look up your caliber, look up, you know, do it price per round, descending or something like that. So you get the cheapest prices per round first. The best deals there. Um, that's the best deals I've found. Because what it is, it's a site that it's like a search engine for ammunition and for uh, inexpensive ammunition. So you can get, uh, you know, find out the best prices and availability of whatever caliber you're looking for. Um, as far as firearms, you got arms list. That's really good because you do it by your geographical area. Um, and our, is private sale legal in your state, in your area? I don't know. It's not here anymore, thanks to I-594 a couple of years ago, communist legislation creeping in here to Washington, as well as 1639 and all the other crap that keeps on going on here. It's just, uh, we're ending up in a communist dictatorship here in Washington. I look, I'm looking to get out. I'd love to move to the Ozarks. But uh, anyway, those are some ideas on budget preps today. I hope that help you guys, helps you guys out. I hope it helps you guys think, um, start the thought process. Um, please comment below. Please like, please subscribe, do the things. Get the word out. Let's make this channel grow. This is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun. I love you guys and blessings to you and yours.